have more on our messy weather in just a moment. But first, that breaking news out of the Royals organization, David Glass has died. Our Neil Jones is here. And Neil, he just sold the team two months ago. You know, and, and it happened so suddenly. No one knew that he was in poor health. Ewing Kaufman was very famously sick. And before he died, he was able to bring in David Glass and a number of other community leaders to kind of oversee that process. This was a much different airport to shut down the airfield. Our Abigail James is live now from KCI. So Abigail, people were scrambling to rebook their flights. How are things now? Yeah, you know what, Ellen, we're actually at a location where we've been able to uh, see the workers as they work to clear the runway. About 10 minutes or so, they're actually about 10. Now, the Nashville flights were among those that were canceled today, so there were a lot of Titans fans that were scrambling, uh, trying to rebook their flights so they can get here this weekend for the AFC Championship game. Now, like I said, everything did resume around noon today. A lot of the airlines did resume their flights around then, except for Southwest. You can see a lot of the planes uh, just kind of sitting out here right now. Uh, they are getting ready to resume here in about an hour, hour or so, um, so they definitely were the most uh, inconvenienced from this whole thing today. For now, reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. Thanks, Abigail. And as Abigail just mentioned, Titans fans hoping to travel today for the AFC Championship were stopped. All five flights from Nashville to KC were canceled. Even the one at 9 o'clock tonight is a no-go. Joshua Cole from our sister station in Nashville shows us how fans are feeling. There's and more in the locker room, Breland. You can just feel it around the city. The excitement is really, really building for Sunday's game. Oh, absolutely. And you can absolutely feel the excitement in the locker room and around Arrowhead as well, which is an incredible feeling. And the Kansas City Chiefs, obviously, they are taking on the Tennessee Titans in, the, in that AFC Championship game Sunday afternoon. But the good, big question of the week has been whether or not defensive tackle Chris Jones will be suiting up. So kind of course questionable for Sunday. The other players who are also questionable for this championship game, running back LaShawn McCoy, backup quarterback Matt Moore, they've both actually been battling illnesses this week and only returned to practice today because they weren't feeling so hot. But should be a good one, of course. Yeah, we need all hands on deck Absolutely. this Absolutely. Let's hope Chris sure. Jones can, can rally here. Seriously. Okay, the only place to watch the Chiefs take on the Titans is right here on Channel 5. Kickoff is at 2 o'clock. Breland, you'll be out at Arrowhead Stadium starting mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. for the Price Chopper Game Day show. You know, so many people talking about the cold but not worried about it. They just want to get to the game. Listen, the cold doesn't bother you when you're super pumped <laughs> to be there, and I'm, I'm sure everybody at Arrowhead is going to be just fine. Yeah, adrenaline will heat everyone yeah. up. <laughs> Ellen? All right, guys, thank you. Okay, so let's get a little bit more in depth on the forecast for Sunday. Gary Amble is here, and you have everything we need to know. Gary, it is going to be cold, but we're not going to have an ice storm that we have to deal with, and fans are going to be loud. They'll be perfectly fine, right? I think so, and uh, this whole mess is going to be cleared up. We'll have sunshine tomorrow. We've got a whole day to kind of prepare for it. It's going to be bitter, bitter cold out at the stadium. Warm pair of socks, gloves, hats.